Might and Mayhem is a turn-based battler that lets you battle against friends or foes online, or in single-player campaign or quest mode. You can mix and match fighters until you put together your dream team, and there's a whole lot of depth as your fighters, castle and equipment are all upgradable. The battles can take some time, and there is quite a bit of strategy involved as each character has a couple of different moves. You'll always have to keep your AP points in mind, but you'll have plenty of them to use the longer the match lasts. The same goes for your opponent, though, so don't get too excited when you get 10 AP per round, as that just gives their robot lancer, or healer another crack at you. Most of my time was spent in single player mode, but the PvP battles were a blast. Matchmaking was solid and my opponent's teams have always matched closely to mine. No overpowering matchups. PvP is great and there's an alliance mode listed as coming soon as well. There is no energy gauge to deal with either so you can battle your brains out, and the only timers I've encountered have been with evolving and upgrading items or your castle. Might and Mayhem is in the soft launch phase at the moment, so while things can change before it goes global, I definitely like what I've seen thus far. The characters are all interesting, there's loads of depth, and the freemium aspect of the game has been handled nicely. Needless to say, it's a title a lot of gamers are going to dig if it stays true to its current form and no big changes are made to the premium currency or IAP setup. At the moment, the game is only available on Google Play in Australia and New Zealand, but it's expected to go global on Android and iOS devices this summer. We shall return with a full review once Kiss Studios Might and Mayhem hits the app stores.